Welcome back to Offered Outlaws, guys, and if you haven't watched my full overview video on everything that's coming in this update, or I shouldn't say coming, I should say is already here in this update, make sure you go over to the channel and check it out. Now, with that out of the way, y'all knew it had to happen. We've got the Cat Eye Chevy now, so we're actually going to build a, or attempt to build, as close to a replica of Monster Max as we can. So, let's go ahead and head straight to the dealership, straight to the trucks, and grab our Cat Eye Chevy. Now... I figured that, I mean, I figured for one, I figured that going into, you know, open multiplayer games, you're gonna see, like, you know, Monster Max replicas everywhere, basically, but I figured why not attempt to build one of my own, so let's go ahead and upgrade everything all the way, like, legit everything, and obviously make sure it's diesel and durability out all the way. E-brake because uh, why not and full stage four turbo now i'm not gonna do tracks but i do i i do feel like monster max with giant tracks would be hilariously funny so now let's go ahead and go to the tuning and we'll get our suspension set up changed over to monster suspension right out of the gate because that is absolutely what we are going to need to complete this build and then not going to drop it on the flex test just yet, because I feel like that would be a little ahead of ourselves to do. We're going to need to max out our suspension. And then, travel-wise, well, first of all, let's see what we could do. It's going to need to be max. It's definitely going to need to be max. And then I'm going to lower the rear stiffness a little bit, just to kind of level it out. And, of course, that will change a little bit. Uh, that'll change a little bit when we mess with the tire sizes, but stiff in the front just a tad too. That's pretty close to level. We'll check back in, obviously, with that and see what it looks like once we put the big tires on it. But let's see about the axis width now. Let's start with let's start with 0.04 and we'll go from there. Yeah, we'll start with 0.04 and now now. Shock size is going to need to... Well, actually, to be fair... Yeah, shock size is going to need to go up a lot. <laughs> it just looks so much better. Looks so much better when you bump up the size. I'm going to say 1.6. 1.6 looks good. And then now, rear steering, I'm going to give it like... Let's say probably 0.4. Not a crazy amount, but just enough. And now, I'm going to go back and see what it actually looks like in terms of wheels and tires. Now, obviously, I don't have a, I don't have, like, a proper tire on it just yet, but we're going to use these sort of state, like, sort of placeholder tires to put these in the size that we want. Wait, do I want to mess with the wheel size, or do I really want to, you know what, I'll leave the wheel size alone for now. Now, we could go all the way up to 2.0, but I think I'm going to go... I think 1.8 looks about where we where we should have it. And then I'm going to make these, like, full-on monster truck tires. So, I'm going to say a 2.8. Hmm. Could just go nuts and do 3.0. But 3.0 looks just, like, a tiny bit too wide. Let's do 2.8. 2.8 seems to fit. Like, it seems to fit the idea I'm going for here. So, what was my front radius again? 1.8. So, that's going to be 1.8 with a width of 2.8. So, that works right there. Not looking too bad so far, for sure. Okay, so now, now, since it's fully built, I'm also going to go ahead and throw a setup on it and run the dyno. Yep, exactly what I expected. Max would be 705 and 11, uh, 1186. So we'll go back now. Gear tuning wise, oh god, the truck is stuck on now. Well, that's great. That's that's lovely. That is absolutely just so lovely. Let me make low just to actually a tiny bit longer. First gear, I'll definitely make a little longer and then second gear I'll make a little shorter third gear I'll make a tad shorter and at kind of all these gears I'm gonna make it just a tiny bit shorter now it's are you gonna idle the entire time 
Oh my god, you were literally going to idle the entire time, aren't you? Oh boy, they weren't kidding when they said there was a couple of gl glitches they still had to sort out with this update. Oh, good grief. Now, let's handle the, the tires themselves, because, yeah, we have a truck that's... Oh, yep, yep, that's it. That's it. There, oh, there it is. That's gonna be what works, that's for sure. Now, as far as wheels go, I'm probably just gonna do the wheel type that I really like to run on the monster trucks, because I feel like it just works really well, and that's this style. And I'm probably going to just go with, like, a really dark, almost, like, kind of like a matte black, but not, you know, not completely matte black, but, like, almost matte black. So we'll do right about there. Because the wheels aren't really, like, a big thing, but let's see. We'll go to paint now, and we'll do glossy paint, which is now, like, hyper gloss. And that is going to be... Sort of like that silver gray. I know it's a little too chrome, though. It's going to have to be matte. Well, let's see metallic. Ooh. Metallic is different. I don't know if I fully... You know what? You know what? It's kind of taking on a bit of like a satin look. So I'll go with that. It'll be a decent in-between, and we'll go with that, and we'll go from there. Now, as far as body stuff goes, let's see... We could delete the front bumper. I'm not going to do that. And I think as far as fenders go, I'll probably... I could cut them. Or you could do a dually setup in the back. But, I mean, we're not really going to have to worry about getting up into the fenders anyway. So I think we could leave those and not really worry about it. Could throw a flatbed on it. Not going to because that's not really the, that's not really the goal of this build. But roof light wise, I'll stick that one light bar up there. And then we're also going to need the roof rack. Once we get to it, there's that. Now, I can't do the, you know, multi-directional light bar setup that, it, that the real one has. I wish I could do that, but unfortunately you can't really. So, let's go ahead and also just throw a winch on the front just for our own sake. And we are definitely going to need... Definitely gonna need a hood stack. I wish we could take I wish we could take one of the headlights out. It'd be so much cooler if we could take one of the headlights out. I just feel like it would be it would just be more complete that way, you know? And I'm gonna throw a repair pack in the back just because like we're probably gonna want one when we're out in the you know, when we're out in the wilderness. But either way, this thing is definitely going to be interesting. Now, I think it's time to take it for a test run. I think it's time to take it for a test run. I'm excited. I mean, it's it's going to be a blast, that's for sure. Definitely going to use the cash for that. And then now, my big thing is I'm genuinely, genuinely, genuinely hoping that the engine... Oh, oh, closed for maintenance, huh? All righty then. Didn't expect that, but all right. Didn't realize I had a trailer equipped. Oh, I guess I don't. But either way, we'll still get to test it out here on Woodlands. Now, obviously, Alfred Outlaws has been having a, a few glitches lately, um, ever since the update. But, I mean, that's just kind of what you deal with when you push an up update so big sometimes. It's fun, though. Oh, my God. Let's throw it in some mud. Dude, and that's not even in low. I don't even have any of the lockers on, jeez. And it's quick, too. Ow. Might have moderately stuffed it there. Oh, clear the river, yes! Oh, I bet you we could actually like fully clear that if we hit the jump with enough speed. It didn't even need low range or lockers to do what it just did. That is nuts. All right, let's back it up real quick. Oh, boy. Let's go. Come on. Go! Oh, oh no. Oh, we barely made it, dude. I wish we could have made that. I know we can. If we just angle ourselves a little bit further to the left, we could make that. What is that? Hey, hey. All right, then. 
I haven't found one of those in a long time. I'm gonna try that jump one more time because I feel like it is now absolutely necessary that we that we actually successfully complete that jump. Not a bad way to turn it around. Alright, let's go. Go! Oh yeah. A little bit further to the left and we are good to go. Not bad at all on that one, dude. This thing is just hilarious to drive. I mean, and the cool thing is that we can, you know, we can build a replica of these things now. And like, yes, I know it's gonna get a little overplayed really, like, you know, really quick to see like Monster Max replicas everywhere. But you know what? It's still cool. And I think that like everybody needs to get the chance to build their own little Monster Max replica because it, you know, it has become an incredibly famous truck on the internet. And of course we're, you know, we're all gonna wanna build little replicas of it here in Off-Road Outlaws. I mean, why not? Now, let's see if, oh God. <laughs> the only thing that is a little bit like odd about it is the fact that it doesn't have like, you know, the side light bars and the rear facing light bar. But that, and that's not a bad thing. It's just kind of one of those things where it's like, huh, I wish I could do that. But still, what a beast. What a beast of a truck. I love it. I, I genuinely, genuinely love it. Now, if you guys enjoyed this build and offered outlaws, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys next time.